Yeah, so my, uh, my wife Michelle was um, diagnosed a couple years ago with stage four cervical cancer and we've been on a pretty long journey for the last three and a half, uh, four years. Done a lot of different protocols um, up until a couple weeks ago. I um, actually didn't think she was going to make it through the weekend. Uh, we learned of Dr. Nozami through another patient that we had met doing stem cells in Mexico. And um, I talked to Dr. Nozami on the phone. Uh, resonated with the protocol that he was doing. Um, we flew out. Michelle didn't even remember the trip. She was down to about 100 pounds. Um, lots of organ failure and lots of complications, uh, two double nephrostomies, um, losing a lot of weight and a lot of pain um, that we had to manage every day. But anyway, we got here after the first day of um, just assessment, second day she started treatment. By the end of the second day of treatment, so our third day here, um, her pain was noticeably less. Uh, she cut her pain meds in half. She's been on high levels of, of Dilaudid for the last two years. <clears throat> her pain meds were in half that day and she had a really good really good response. Um, the next two days we actually came here I think towards the end of the week so we we're on the weekend that didn't do treatment. She had two really rough days, uh, started treatment again yesterday and the day before and after both infusions she slept all through the night last night. Again no need for her uh, short acting pain meds and um, she's doing better. She seems when she gets the refusion or infusions she seems to respond you know really well. So I don't know at this stage obviously it's too early to tell whether it's palliative or curative but definitely noticeable changes. Yeah, um, you know, I, I would say question everything and um, don't take no for an answer. In the United States, uh, we have a healthcare system that anybody knows who's going through this kind of journey, you're your own best advocate. And so there's a lot of options, there's a lot of treatment options, not just in the U.S., but globally. You know, ask questions, learn, question everything. And then go with your gut. I mean, if there's a, something you don't feel right about, when I talk to Dr. Nizami, um, you know, the, the protocol is science-based, but it makes sense, um, it'll resonate with your spirit, and um, just find a way to do it. And so, anyway, I would just say be your own best advocate, do the research, question everything, and don't just take the responses people give you. If this is the only option, that it's the only option. I don't say this one, but a lot of times you'll hear you only have one option. You know, you can do chemo, you can do radiation. There's tons of other options. And um, I just encourage you to, to sort it out, go with your gut, and um, be willing to give it a shot. Hi, I'm Michelle Weaver, and I've been I'm down at the clinic for about, about a week now. And I just wanted to... Um, say what a blessing it's been. I came in and could barely walk, talk. Um, I don't even know actually how I got here actually. And I'm going on right about a week and I feel like I can talk, I can walk. Um, I'm making a lot of progress and I, I just really greatly, greatly appreciate the treatment. Um, that the doctor has going down here. He's done a, done a phenomenal job and um, it's great um, patient contact and um, really listens to your needs and um, allows your body to get healed in the way that it needs to be healed. Thanks.